What's the red line? comrades welcome back to the channel welcome back to it used to be sunny on the Nürburgring but if it's not sunny we still have this amazing 1993 Honda Civic you could almost say Type R they didn't have Type R of this generation but it has a K20 inside thanks to get Dennis how are you doing I'm amazing yeah especially after a lap because traditionally wise we already did the lap because it was a massive queue to get off it took us 50 minutes to get off the track and therefore it was better to make sure that we would do a lap before anything would happen. Can you open up the bonnet? Because course, I think sure. while you do that, I'm gonna show a bit of the interior. One of my favorite parts is uh, actually the shifter. It gives so much feedback, it's amazing. Also was very good to heel and toe. The seating position was pretty much perfect for me, but you will see that I uh, didn't know that it had no ABS. So the first corner I was like, oh yeah, we have no ABS on cold Nankang NS2 our tires. Let's uh, warm them up a bit. The car is also running, um, no, 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 with Ferro the DS2500 brake pads, yes, thank you. Slightly bigger brake discs, 40 mil bigger than stock. They fill up the wheel nicely. And here, oh, look at that goodiness. That's like a full on spoon yellow vibes with hard race. I've, I've ordered lots of hard race stuff for my GR86, by the way. So, it's everywhere on my car. <laughs> nice. How much power was it? Is it 260 or it's something? 260, yeah. Yeah, 260. And uh, about 260 torque as well. Yeah. Nice. Have a look at the lap. I really loved the feeling, the emotion, the fact that it has no power steering. You get so much feedback through the car. My only complaint would be it's actually a lot of understeer uh, and even on semi slicks. So I would say maybe play a bit with the toe on the rear so the back end wants to turn in a bit more because that would make the car so much more lively. You can probably shave up, shave off at least 20 seconds a lap, I would say, because that's. A lot. Well, it's second per kilometer, so it's uh, actually quite okay, you know, because when you talk on Zandvoort, for example, oh, two seconds a lot faster, it's... Yeah. So, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. No, cool. Thank you again for this experience. No problem. Amazing car. Amazing drive. And uh, do a different alignment, and then maybe we'll go again later in the yeah. year or something. <laughs> awesome. Enjoy the lap, guys. Amazing VTEC vibes. Brap! Okay, driver excuse, my first lap of the day with any car, so I still need to wake up and see if they didn't change the track overnight. But so far, I cannot make any driver excuse about the seating position because it's pretty much perfect. I would say you did a good job with adjusting the seat. Thanks, yeah. Based on your friend's length who looked similar <laughs> as I. Similar What's mind. the red line? Nine. Eight. Go, go to nine. Yes? No ABS. Ah, you should have told me that. Sorry. Okay. 
left off a bit, you can feel the rear end come out a bit, slide uh -huh. a little. But yeah, initial a bit of understeer. Yeah. But first impressions? Good. Yeah? Like one of the last VTECs, I think the last VTEC pretty much I drove last year was uh, the first type R. What was it, the EP? No? The Trudel? Uh, it'll be an AEK type yeah, R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, the actual like. Uh -huh. One generation later than this one. Uh, yeah, and it had like the stock engine, the V16. Uh -huh. And it was like lack of torque, it was like really missing the power, yeah. missing everything. Yeah. And here it's actually perfect. Like it has a power to weight to ratio. Yeah. It's uh, pretty good. Just a lot of fun.
was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we can cool down ourselves. Oh, finally. Quick verdict. Um, yeah, alignment is still a bit understeery for my liking. Uh -huh. So I think maybe you can play with the with the toe on the rear, so mm -hmm. it will like actually a bit more. Yeah, with, yeah. with turning that it will actually go a bit more uh, more crazy because uh -huh. the car can handle it. It's, uh, oh, what's happening here? Someone's burning or something. <laughs> uh, Hey, hey.